Assalamualaikum and hi sir. My name is Nurul Nadia binti Muhammad Naim. My matric number H20B1684. As you can see, today I will start the presentation by present chapter 1, Introduction. Here is the table of content in chapter 1. Background of study. Our research aim to customer satisfaction using online purchases among students in Bachelor of Entrepreneurship Tourism with Honor at University of Malaysia Kelantan. This research focuses on success of online purchases by evaluate customer service in terms of service, item shipping, cost and customer service and other factors. The question whether the Bachelor student of Entrepreneurship Tourism with Honor at University of Malaysia Kelantan satisfied or not in online purchases. Problem statement. According to Philip Kotler and Kevin Lane Keller, 2007, customer satisfaction is a person feeling of joy or not satisfaction due to performance of product. In the research has significant that has not given too much attention on quality, service, and security and pricing plan. Research question. As a result, our research questions are addressed in this study is First, what is the relationship between product pricing towards online purchase? Second, what is the relationship between service security towards online purchase? Third, what is the relationship between service quality towards online purchase? Research objective Our research objective to this research focus on First, to measure the relationship between product pricing towards online purchase. Second, to measure the relationship between service security towards online purchase. Third, to measure the relationship between service quality towards online purchase. So, that's all from me. Thank you. So, we move to next presenter. Hi and good day sir. My name is Lim Min and my metric number is H20A1191. Next, I will discuss the scope of the study. The purpose of this study was to understand customer satisfaction with their online purchases. Shopping online is a popular choice since it makes it easier for customers to make purchases. This research helped us better understand client buying habits and get insight into online shopping. This research is being conducted among students at the UMK campus in Kota Baharu, Kelantan. We require lovely 171 tourism students at the UNK campus in Kota to participate in this study. As a part of the online program, we create a Google form and given to each tourism student. This quantitative method was used to distribute 16 items in a question A. Next, significance of study. The first one is theoretical benefit. This research has a lot of consequences. This study employs qualitative and quantitative methodology to generalize the conclusion and finding. Hence, it is a advice that the research methodology be enlarged. The survey outcome will be used to gauge customer happiness and online purchasing intention. Quality e-service indicators are provided by Shopee and Lazada, allowing academic to get accurate data. The second one is practical benefit. The outcome of this study might serve as a standard for future customer related service satisfaction on the e Casey of online purchases on Shopee and Lazada. This research focus on customer satisfaction using online shopping among tourism students at the UMK campus in Kota Baharu. It addressed three main research questions, which is what factor influence consumer to shop online? Second one is the target of online shopping. Third is why people are willing to buy goods online despite their negative risk perception. Next, definition of term. The first one is customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is used to assess how satisfied a customer is with a product, its quality, and overall experience. It reflects whether or not a customer is satisfied with a business. It is also an important factor in determining a company's success. Second is product pricing. Product pricing refers to the decision-making process in determining the values of a product or service. There are numerous pricing strategies that a company can employ, but they all fall under the category of pricing. The price set during the pricing process is the price that the customer will pay for that product or service. The third is service security. Service security is a term that refers to the security of internet-based activity and transaction. 
typically the description of data security policy discuss ten technological security, physical security, and other relevant issues. We should evaluate the security of both the computer and the seller system before making an online purchase. Especially, we can reduce the risk of identity theft in particular by shopping only on websites that discuss an effective and effective data security policy. The last one is service quality. Service quality is defined as the difference between perceived performance and perceived expectation of consumer. This is one of the important factors influencing the online purchasing decision of an online business. Projection can sometimes differ from actual experience. Next, summary. The significant point from this chapter, the research question are each project focal point and are best described as the group that tied the project together. Number two is research is gathering, documenting, analyzing, and interpreting information. Third is methodology is concerned with the overall strategy for conducting research. This involves everything from theoretical application to data collection and analysis. On the other hand, method pertains to how data can be accurate and analyzed. Next, the research methodology displays the six essential aspects of research methodology. Present basic research concept and give a structure for organizing your methodology chapter. Number five is understanding epistemology is critical because it affects how you approach and understand your study. And the last one is positive epistemology for research in creativism, interpretivism, and pragmatism. The latter is commonly connected with mixed method or multi method analysis. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and good day. My name is Rasmini Binti Ladampang. I'm here to present chapter 2 of our research in terms of customer satisfaction. What is actually I want to explain in chapter 2 is review of prior research. As we know, the researcher actually about the place of research in the development of knowledge by do literature review or read previous study about what is actually we want to study also discuss about survey customer satisfaction among Bachelor of Entrepreneurship Tourism of student UMK. Not forget to discuss about customer satisfaction, product pricing, service quality, relationship between service quality and service security, product pricing and customer satisfaction, hypothesis, conceptual framework, and lastly, summary. First, customer satisfaction. In this section, what is actually I'm going to explain is the definition of customer satisfaction, which is our dependent variable. Customer satisfaction is the level at which customer can measure the goods of business, company, and quality service. To measuring customer satisfaction, it is developed it is crucial to develop a seller's online purchasing business. Data-centric approach finding out the extent of the appre appropriateness of customer satisfaction. Antecedent of customer satisfaction as our dependent variable. Variable that occur before the independence and dependence variable to analyze and can, hex, ex, can help explain the relationship between them. Antecedent variable will be the one that describes the behavior of both commu, commutative and dependence variable. In terms of product pricing, pricing decision is one of the most challenging decision in a business is the seller must make and make sure customers are satisfying and willing to buy in the shop. Branding also influence the pricing cost and will affect the online purchasing process. As an online seller, pricing cannot be done at the will. There are rules to follow. For example, Shopee and Lazada has their own pricing method and policy based on particular circumstance. Service quality in some company is important in influence customer satisfaction because many customers or sellers still lack of publicly acknowledge. Measure addressing the service security are confidentially of retail customer. Website service in one of the most 
critical aspect Shopee looking for when shopping online. Besides, service security is important because it involves user privacy information. Lot of scammer online that and internet can be hacked such as bank account information can be exposed can make customer have a trust issue where when they proceed the payment according to the researchers understanding quality product and service needs to be transferred to produce a product that meets the needs of consumer this encourage manufacturer to develop new ways to supply product and service that fulfill consumer expectation. According to the pre-survey result, there are many negatively responding to the application service. Thus, implementing a customer service improvement strategy is relatively short to keep the organization on top. As a result, perceived service quality in terms of providing on-time service, quiet reply to customer requests, tailored service, and professional service greatly in front online purchase intent. Moreover, online purchase sellers do not have good communication skills with users. Online purchasing has several drawbacks that are not present in traditional retail such as purchasers who do not have a personal understanding of the product quality, a seller essence of emotional connection, and shady is generated by clients who are hesitant to use the internet, and then last, a lack of social engagement and communication with others, as well as transition security and personal safety. Lastly, computationally of consumer information is a significant challenge affecting online purchase service quality. Front can on a competitive edge by providing high quality electronic service. Customer satisfaction is informed by the quality of customer service. Many business are scraping we have to improve service quality to please and keep customer. According to the study, quality of military service is informed by security and information computationally, as well as website functioning. Survey and assessment of customer situation can assist a fund figure out how to enhance or change its product and service. The relationship between excellent service and customer contentment is determined by the product or service quality and guarantee. According to the statistic, overall service or product quality has a positive impact on customer situation, which leads customer loyalty, pleasure, and maintain a long-term relationship with the client. Furthermore, there is a significant link between consumer situation and security. One of the advantages of internet buying is that no face-to-face interaction is required. As a result, customer place a premium on the privacy and security of online transactions. The result revealed that security has an important impact on consumer trust, confidence, and persistence. Further research revealed that customer value discount coupon, free delivery, cashback, and other incentives when making an online purchase to save money. By analyzing the importance of the price discount in bed, this study gives a deeper understanding of the influence of price discount on customer situation with items. Customer situation was determined to be high as evident by using the lower price to acquire the most valuable goods. A hypothesis is a theoretical link between two or more factors that get the study evaluation action. The validity of a question assessed in the study might be tested. This study aims to find out how satisfied Bachelor of Entrepreneurship Tourism we have honors as the peace student at the University of Malaysia, Glantan, UMK, with their online purchase. The following hypothesis have been generated and will be tested as a result of the study. The hypothesis 1. There is a strong link between quality, price, and service toward online purchase among SAP students at the University of Malaysia, Kelantan. Hypothesis 2. There is a significant relationship between security towards online purchase among SAP students at the UNK. Hypothesis 3. There is a significant relationship between pricing spend towards online purchase among SAP students at University of Malaysia, Kelantan. This is conception framework of our project. This study measures the relationship between the satisfaction using online purchase among Bachelor of Entrepreneurship Tourism with honors as a PhD student at the University of Malaysia, Kelantan. As a result, the critical variables in research are variables, which include independent variables IV and dependent variables DV. The hypothesis and conceptual framework are included in this chapter. The reader may learn about the methods that researchers intend to apply to this study in the next chapter. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to our respected lecturer Dr. Naim Hayat. My name is Muhammad Alif bin Cik Rahim. My metric number is H20A1209. Introduction. In this chapter, we will discover about research design, population and sample, sampling technique, instrument, data analysis, including descriptive statistics, 
reality test, person correlation and summary of this chapter. Researcher obtain data and analyze students from the Bachelor of Entrepreneurship in Tourism with honor in UMK, University Malaysia, Kelantan. Research design and methods. Quantitative study are more suitable as it's easier to conduct survey among the respondent. Through quantitative, we can avoid inaccurate data or answer from respondent. Cross-sectional study choose because only collect data at a single point in time. Cross-sectional studies are relatively cheap and less time consuming than other types of research. For the instrument, these respondents were chosen for this study because they have prior experience with online purchase. The researcher designed a questionnaire Google form based on research question form based on the study objective. The data of student, we collect the data from the official department faculty of UMK University Malaysia, Kelantan. Okay, as you can see in this table, this is the question from our group. The section A examines the respondent's socio-demographic characteristic, including gender, age, and customer preferences for purchasing platforms. Questions in section B, C, and D are based on a Likert scale, response selection, product pricing, service security, quality service, and consumer happiness with online transaction. This will be the emphasis of the poll. Five sessions were presented and scored on a five Likert scale. One, strongly disagree. Two, disagree. Three, natural. Four, agree. Five, strongly agree. In section E, the question used are open-ended. This section focus on respondent perception of online shopping platforms. Therefore, respondent were allowed to answer the question within the stipulated period. Population and sample. A population is a collection of people or human beings that the researcher can conclude the study topic. A sample is a subset of a sample is a subset of the population from which the researcher will collect all data. The sample size is always less than the population. Sampling technique. A survey questionnaire has been carried out to cover, understand and examine this study to analyze customer satisfaction using online purchases. The usual approach to sample collection is using Google Form to create a field work plan and design the question related to our objective and relevant to our research topic. The design of the questionnaire is descriptive for statistical validation. In addition, the main ethical consideration arising from conducting the survey questionnaire is that we guarantee all the answer and feedback are for academic purpose and research study without disclosing any identify under any circumstances. In addition, this questionnaire is anonymous. This can show the most authentic thought and feedback. That's all from me. Thank you. Now, we move to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum and good day, Doctor. My name is Norda Lezati, Binti Taji. My metric number is H20A1496. For my part, is data analysis. Reviewing, re-engineering, manipulating and modifying data to attain valuable information is what data analysis entails. Data analysis also includes extracting useful information, drawing by analyzing, placing, manipulating and modeling data you may help people make better decisions. Firstly, descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics describe data with specific parameter or measurement without analyzing or drawing any conclusion from the data. The benefit of descriptive statistics is to provide an overview of a data set and its characteristics. There are two measurement forms in descriptive statistics. The first one is trend tendency measure and deviation measure. An earlier stage in statistical analysis that researchers can apply in quantitative research is to define the characteristic of a response. For the example, the average of one variable, we can put H, or the relationship between two variables such as age and customer satisfaction. Inferential statistics is the next phase which helps to determine whether the data obtained 
by the researcher can support and, and contradict the hypothesis made by the researcher and whether the researcher can apply them to a larger population. Next is reliability test. Reliability is related to whether the researcher can receive the same response when measuring something more than once with an instrument used repeatedly. In other words, research reliability is a level of process in which research is done to produce consistent and reliable results to consider. Besides that, on the study, we assume only survey could be conducted in three months to get all respondents filled in. A total respondent we need are about 171 respondents from year two student of Bachelor of Entrepreneurship Tourism we honor in UMK. We determined the reliability test adopted in the research study was the interactive reliability technique. The level of agreement between two or more people is considered interactive reliability. There are two types of interactive reliability. The first one is percentage of agreement and the second one is Kohan Kappa. Next, we have person correlation. The person correlation coefficient can evaluate the strengths of a linear connection between two variables. It ranges from negative 1 to 1, with negative 1 indicate that the total linear is the negative correlations. In contrast, a value of 0 indicates no relationship, and a value of 1 indicates indicate can absolute positive correlations. Next, to determine whether the correlation between variables is significant by deciding whether the correlations between variables is large can be compared with p-value with a significant for the researcher to see whether the correlation between variables is significant. As you can see, this is the formula of percent correlations. And for the personal correlation value, is a 70 or higher, is a very strong positive relationship. While if zero is no relationship, and when it's become underneath the zero, is no own negligible relationship. For the summary of this chapter, the research design that the researcher used for this study is quantitative. This study independent variable involved the product pricing service security, and service quality. In contrast, the dependent variable is a customer satisfaction toward online purchase among Bachelor of Entrepreneurship, Tourism, we own a student at UST Malaysia, Kelantan. That's all from us. Thank you.